Hey guys, today I have a solo infinite time cheese for the Verdant Forest. Let's get started with the mechanics. You start by standing in the ring. You open the branches. Killing enemies adds time. Getting to the end stops the timer. When the timer runs out, the bosses spawn. So let's cheese it. All you have to do is get to the end and then go back and get kills. What do I mean? This can be done with Titan flying. Using Lion Rampants, Catapult Lift, and a Sword, you can traverse the Abyss all the way to the end. When you start up the round, an Objective Indicator will pop up on one of the four ring platforms. They are placed at the four corners of the Infinite Forest. You start at one, and then it randomly goes to one of the other three. Getting to the correct one will stop the timer. To Titanfly, you want to activate your boost. After half a second deactivate it, Wait another half second, and then swing your sword. Repeat that all the way across. This could take some practice, and it works better if your armor has more mobility. Any sword will do. The one I have is Traitor's Fate. If you want to start out with ammo, you can rally a public event before launching the activity. After reaching the end, you can jump off and spawn at the beginning. Each kill will add to your time without taking any away, giving you infinite time. However, the max amount of time that you can hold is 5 minutes. So any kills after that does nothing. If you find yourself needing heavy, you can use armaments mods. But I always had max by the end of my way back without armament mods. That's where the infinite time ends though for solo players. The moment that you activate the second plate, the area becomes a darkness zone. Giving you about 7 branches before it becomes that darkness zone. So if you were to fly to the end and stop time again, you could not wipe and start back at the beginning. It's possible you could make it there and back with the sword ammo you have left, but it's unlikely. This still gives a solo player a huge advantage of a 5 minute timer with some extra branches cleared. If there are 2 or 3 of you, then you could keep doing this as much as you want. Jumping off wouldn't wipe the team, and you would still have infinite time. The branches would likely never end, and you could be in top in the world for branches cleared with no problem. So if you're running with a team, you could have one titan doing this strategy, while the rest of you just kill stuff. The key takeaway is that doing this solo works until the second ring is activated, but you can do this as much as you want, as long as you don't wipe with two or three man fire teams. Cheese forever, Guardian!